Hey guys, what's up? I Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next base destruction video. And this one is on a Town Hall 9 base. As you can see, I have a couple attacks, two attacks to show to you guys today. Not going to be the longest one, but definitely teaches an important lesson. And it's kind of related to dead zone bases is what this video is going to be about. But it's not the, you know, the traditional, uh, it doesn't have to be this kind of dead zone base. A dead zone base can be any base that kind of has gaps in the core, has a lot of storages, not many any defenses in it just doesn't really have a core a centralized compartment in that base uh, you can still use this strategy on different types of bases doesn't have to be the perfect circular base with the with the uh, wall pieces in the middle to make the dead zone so you can expand this type of uh, this concept we're talking about to other bases that you might not have thought of before if you just take a look at them and uh, kind of see what exactly is in the middle of the base you might notice it actually resembles a dead zone base more than you first thought so yeah today we're talking about dead zone bases and what kind of attacks you can use on these types of bases so first of all um, for this base specifically you might think an air attack would be good. I actually was considering this as I was looking at it. Um, one thing I was thinking, um, even if the queen walk, uh, if you don't know there's Teslas there, <clears throat> but even if you do, the queen walk is a great way to take out Teslas. It's to send your queen in here, take out these two air defenses, get all of this with like a rage, maybe lure the CC or something. There's actually a lava hound in the CC, so I guess you could just bring your queen over on that side. The only problem is you have to take out the defensive queen somehow, plus these two air defenses are kind of opposite sides of the base, which is never good to have two air defenses left up that both um, are kind of opposite from each other. That makes it harder to deploy your air your air stuff, but it is doable. I think you could devise a plan using air, uh, air troops to take out this base, especially because the sweepers are in pretty poor positions. That one could be effective, I guess, if because uh, it takes away one angle, but it doesn't do much besides that. So anyway, uh, the, the safer thing to do is to go with a ground attack on this base. Uh, spread out bases are always good for ground attacks. They can be <clears throat> at Town Hall 9, um, it should be, uh, for a good attacker with a, a well-planned attack, it should uh, most of the time be a, a pretty routine three-star if you get a spread out base that's, you know, this spread out, uh, especially with a dead zone, which kind of spreads it out. So anyway, uh, we're going to take a look at a few attacks, and kind of the old-fashioned way of taking out a Town Hall 9 base is with that golem avalanche attack. That's the surgical golems around the base with wizards and possibly bowlers to back it up, and that's what the first attacker does, but talking about why it doesn't work, uh, first of all, it's never good on a first attack when you don't know the CC troops, you don't know where the traps, the Teslas are, because it is a very delicate attack and a few mistakes, you know, hitting giant bombs with your wizards or having some weird pathing or Teslas in the core. Any of those things can screw up the attack, so it's not the safest safest thing to do, but 007 goes with the Golem Avalanche anyway. One thing is he comes in from this side. Now, he doesn't know the Tesla farm is there, obviously. It probably actually helps that it's there because he gets it out of the way early, but he's not coming at the hero compartment, and that's never a good thing because the heroes do quite a bit of damage, and they're pretty unpredictable, so you d typically don't want to have to deal with them while you're going halfway around the base just to get there. Typically, you want to deal with them when your your strongest um now I'm, I'm not saying it would be a good idea to do a golem avalanche starting here because it's not the easiest uh pathing for your troops to split so it's, it's a difficult base to do this go golem avalanche attack on but nevertheless because it is a dead zone base i think that's why 007 uses this attack strategy uh, he comes in here takes out this compartment and his troops head up this way i think it's a pretty easy funnel to like take out some of the stuff in this area his troops head up that way um, one of the problems is that he lures out the CC with like a giant. The Lava Hound comes over. I think it distracts the Queen and a few wizards. So some of that damage is stuck on the Lava Hound while the King and the Golems continue off in this direction. Uh, they hit the giant bombs here, which might take out a few wizards. Isn't that bad? But the main thing is that the um, some of the his most important DPS isn't following. So everything kind of peters out as it gets to the heroes without the Queen and without a few uh, extra wizards or anything. Uh, he really can't take out those defensive heroes, and his troops kind of stop right there. They can't breach uh, this hero compartment. And uh, his queen kind of makes her way this way after she takes out the Lava Hound, but with no tanks out in front of her, she doesn't last very long. So things kind of split up, don't work out too well. We'll take a look at the attack, and then we'll come back and see how it was cleaned up.
So here is 007's attack. Uh, you can see has the four golems. I think there's bowlers in the CC. So sometimes we would see people bring five. He's only bringing four and uh, has quite a few wizards and some wall breakers, jump spells to move everything uh, through the base here. So it drops everything down. Uh, the wizards does a good job creating the funnel. That's all good. The opening of this attack is all very clean. Uh, yeah, everything is going well. The Tesla's doing some damage to the golems, which is kind of unfortunate because those tanks are pretty important and they're going down very quickly. Um, also, that one one golem gets stuck on the cannon right there so his tanks do bust up quite a bit you can see um two of the golems have already split that third goal or that fourth golem rather i'm not sure does he forget no he's dropping up at the top here yeah there's the fourth golem up at the top so one thing to notice is that already um pretty much all three of his golems have been roasted by the point defense in the area so maybe I should qualify my statement about it being a good thing the Tesla farm was there. He got it out of the way, but it did cost him quite a few of his golems. You can see the king's getting pretty low. Um, at the top here, here comes the next part of the push. The golem, the wizards, I think he drops the bowlers in up there as well. Yeah, there go the bowlers. So that's the next leg of the push. But the queen is stuck behind here, dealing with these lava pups. And for whatever reason, I, I think there's just not enough that, that, um, that wizard tower might go down. And it's just not in her range. So she goes to that wall right there. The jump spell ran out anyway. So the queen is separated. Not that she had many hit points anyway. Uh, that last golem can't, you know, tank forever. So eventually it goes down. The tanks are all busted up. And the uh, the bowlers go down as well. So from there, we'll go ahead and fast forward. Uh, because at this point, it's pretty much just sending in a few hogs. Which is a good idea to have on the back end of the base for attacks like these. But there's nothing to tank for the hogs. They go down uh, to the point defense and the heroes. The queen hits a few giant bombs. Uh, she would have gone down to the point defense anyway. So nice try 007. Let's take a look at how this base uh, was actually cleaned up with an adjusted plan. Okay, so the next attacker is going to be Nate, and he's going to get the three star. Uh, really awesome, clean attack. Uh, just went perfectly almost. What he does is kind of interesting. You wouldn't think of it. He drops down his queen with some healers right here. Uh, drops a few goblins actually to take out this uh, town hall, which is a sneaky thing to do because they do that times two damage to the town hall. So it's a cheap way to take out the town hall instead of using a baby dragon or a wizard. So very efficient there. But lures out this lava hound, lets his queen deal with it up here. Um, goes ahead and drops a wizard down as well to take out the lava hound even faster that's a great thing to do dropping down that wizard it does almost as much damage as your queen so it's going to really um it's going to benefit your this, this timing of your attack it's going to make the queen walk go faster so you don't run out of time so awesome uh, thinking to drop that wizard. He does kind of panic and hit the ability when he doesn't need to. The queen was fine, but the lava pups, I guess, got her a little bit low. So he got nervous, hit the ability. No big deal. He doesn't end up needing it anyway. Uh, the queen kind of steps up. He wall breakers in right here, drops down like a rage. This lets her come in here and take all this out, as well as taking out all of this. And that's important that she gets, um, let me draw a line. She gets pretty much all of this taken out at the beginning. That's important because at the top here, he comes in with a P.E.K.K.A. walk, which is something I've talked about. I think he creates the funnel here, drops down the P.E.K.K.A.s, lets them walk up north, creating their own funnel pretty much, which is awesome. Uh, wall breakers them in here, or I think just lets the Valks kind of swing through the wall. Um, everything comes in here, has the bowlers, the king. Um, that's, a, that's a really powerful kill squad. When you have P.E.K.K.A.s, you have healers on them, you have bowlers, you have Valks, you have the king, and you have rages to keep them moving. That is an extremely powerful kill squad at Town Hall 9, um, and especially because they're, they have a purpose, they have a direction they're going. Because um, the bowlers can take out these two buildings, the logical place for the uh, troops to continue is to go in this direction, and they basically just go through all these walls, they get down here, take out this Tesla farm, uh, but then the queen's already kind of made her way into this area, taking this stuff out, and everything kind of finishes off right in this area. Um, so many troops left up, I can't even describe it. We'll take a look at the attack. It was awesome. Let's see how it was done. All right, so here is Nate's attack. Uh, there's the troops he has cooked up. Go ahead and fast forward to the start. Drops down the queen with the four healers. Uh, just a hog there to lure out the uh, lava hound. And right here, no point defense on her. Or actually, no, sorry, the expo is on her. My mistake. Uh, just the expo and the lava hound drops down that wizard. It does so much more damage than the queen alone. Drops down the... Uh, 
goblins on the uh, town hall, which is really efficient, like I said, and a few a wizard or two up top to start the funnel for his kill squad. There's the poison. It kind of misses some of the lava hounds. It's hard to know where to drop that poison, to be honest. But right here, he panics, hits the ability. I assume he was panicking because I don't think he needed to drop the ability right there. But he goes ahead and hits it. Uh, no big deal. He de doesn't need it anyway. There's the rage, which is more important. Keeps the queen up um, as she takes out the defensive heroes in a number of point defense. Uh, already starts off with the P.E.K.K.A.S. I like how he's kind of doing everything at once. Simultaneous deployment. Um, really great awareness to be able to do that at the same time. P.E.K.K.A.S. go down. The king on the other side. So kind of doing a double... Uh, walk, but it works out great because he knows everything will end up eventually right by that dark barracks. Drops in the Valks to help get through the wall, and from there, one thing to note, he doesn't drop the bowlers until the wall is open. That's because if the wall is not open, the bowlers could walk. He wants that wall to be open so the bowlers walk inside the base. That way they're funneled on in and uh, everything is going great. So the funneling was perfect. The bowlers take out those buildings, like I said. So the Valks, the Pekkas, everything continues off to the bottom right here. Has that next rage. And look how fast these troops move through the base here. Uh, the bowlers doing a ton of damage behind the Pekkas, which are tanking and also dealing quite a bit of damage themselves. And the Valks running in between taking out all these buildings they're touching each other uh, queen is still up has an extra rage he hasn't even used i don't think he uses it at all uh, converges on the perfect spot in the base where there's not many defenses left so it's pretty much gg at this point uh, let's see what he has left up the queen her healers uh the king his ability which was kind of a swag ability a few valks both the pekkas Actually, more than a few Valks. I think like almost four, yeah, four, three or four Valks. No, four Valks. Um, almost all his bowlers. A few wizards just crush this base. Really, yeah, drops that last rage just for the fun of it. Uh, awesome attack to Nate. And that's what you want to do, guys. Look for a runway on the base where you can say, hey, um, like right here, this is the dead zone. Hey, um, moving from this spot to this spot, I can create a runway for my troops. That way they're going to funnel their way through. Get some of those high DPS troops like Pekkas, Bowlers, Valks, King. They're a great combo along with healers in a rage. Get those moving along a runway on the base if you can, especially on these spread out bases. They often have uh, a quote unquote runway where your troops can make their way through with uh, pretty easily funneling. And uh, they can get through the base, take it out very quickly. Um, and your queen, a queen walk can help uh, kind of clear out the runway, make it so your troops have nowhere to go but the direction you need them. So awesome attack once again to Nate. Hope everything made sense. You can feel free to drop questions below and also answer other people's questions if you have some insight because it's hard for me to get to all of them uh so yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys in my next video by sectatron out